Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I wanted to talk to you about Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and the potential for COD Battle Royale. I'm going to have gameplay for you of Call of Duty World War 2. There will be some gameplay of the COD Battle Royale mode that already exists, and of course a little bit of PUBG and Fortnite for reference. We'll also be talking about some of the reasons that Call of Duty doesn't yet have this mode, but let's start off with a few factual statements. Black Ops 4 is slated to be the next Call of Duty game. That reveal was a couple of weeks ago. It was sort of an unofficial leak, but it's seems very, very likely. On top of that, Battle Royale games are currently dominating the gaming space. If any of you here that are watching this video watch any other channel, open your YouTube app, open Twitch app, anything like that, you'll see that PUBG and Fortnite are very often at the very top of the most viewed games, and on Steam charts or any sort of video game tracking service, they are pretty much the most played games on the market that are not called League of Legends. PUBG was literally a game changer for early access games, for Battle Royale games, and for modders in general. It's one of the very few early access games to hit a fully 1.0 state, though their 1.0 state is admittedly a bit rough. It is still currently the most successful Battle Royale game, though I do believe Fortnite is soon going to overtake it. It was much more successful than H1Z1, and it showed the power of a good mod. Brian Green, player unknown, was originally a modder, and it gave sort of credit to that community. Fortnite is roughly the same game with some different mechanics and a unique building element, but it's upending PUBG and it's basically showing what a big experienced studio can do with the Battle Royale idea. I believe the most original thing about Fortnite is the building element and a lot of it is a more simplified PUBG, though I do admit the game is growing on me. It's fun, it's cartoony, it's goofy, it's definitely faster and more optimized than PUBG, but a lot of that just has to do with the experience of Epic Games, knowing how to build it for PlayStation and for PC and for Xbox and allow crossplay and a lot of cool stuff that a smaller, less experienced studio like Bluehole just wasn't able to do in that period of time. At the same time, Call of Duty and Activision usually don't just sit on their hands and do nothing. I know the popular community belief is that Call of Duty just reskins and re-releases the same game every year, but that is not true. There are a lot of changes on the back end, a lot of changes to the uh, business model, and a lot of changes to the content that happen, but they usually happen in response to a big change. For example, competitive Call of Duty is a result of the extreme success of League of Legends, and you can see the competitive COD scene in Black Ops 2 and Ghost respectively, exploding about the same time that League of Legends competitive exploded. Supply drops are the result of the extreme success of CSGO crates because they added basically microtransactions into the game that you paid for and didn't really deride or harm the game at all. You also see these popping up about the same time that CSGO crates were becoming popular. And in a similar note, COD Battle Royale is already a mode for COD Online in China. The gameplay I'm sharing right now is not my own. It's from a much smaller YouTube YouTuber by the name of Zinya Cod. I linked his channel down below first in the description, put a little watermark on there. And of note, he uh he has some very strong opinions about how Tencent is running COD online right now, and they're uh, not particularly kind. I don't want to show you too much of his gameplay because I feel that's unfair to steal or take from other YouTubers, but I did want to give you an idea and show you that this mode already exists, and maybe shout out a smaller channel as well. So go check him out if you want to see more COD Battle Royale. He's got quite a lot of it on his channel, but the proof of concept is already there and it's already available for Chinese gamers. So given that, and given the explosion of Battle Royale games over the last two years, and how Call of Duty tends to react to the market, it wouldn't surprise me at all if Black Ops 4 has some kind of Battle Royale mode in development. Either a full game, either a separate game. What would be super interesting to me is that if Black Ops 4 launched with a sort of side game, like a Battle Royale game that people could play 100% for free, probably loaded with microtransactions of course, to kind of goad people and ease them into playing the main game, kind of how Fortnite is doing with Battle Royale, to get people to play the Zombies game and to get people to play Save the World and some of the other modes they're developing as a loss leader. Now Call of Duty typically doesn't work on that model because it makes way more money for them to just sell $60 games that people are going to buy anyway because it's Call of Duty, but you could definitely pull in a lot more players if you did that. And I do think Treyarch certainly has the skill, the time, and the base template with COD Online in China, and big enough maps for it. God, the maps in Black Ops 4 campaign were huge, so they clearly know how to design big COD maps, and I think Treyarch could easily do this. And if done properly, I think COD Battle Royale would be super hot for one reason, and that reason is current Battle Royale games have 
problems. Most of them are on the clunky side, and I'm looking at mostly at H1Z1 and PUBG on that one, or have odd mechanics, and I'm looking at Fortnite on that one, mostly because you don't properly aim down sights with very many guns. They have this sort of hipfire bloom mechanic on most of the weapons, so it's never really completely accurate and precise, and I feel that adds a big casual element to the game, and for me, a guy that's been aiming down sights and shooters forever, it's very frustrating. And neither of them are nearly as smooth as Call of Duty, especially when it comes to console gaming. Call of Duty is the king of console gaming because of the smoothness of play, because of the reaction of the engine, and I know a lot of you want to talk about magic bullets and hit detection and stuff like that, but I'm talking about Jake, just base character movements, about aiming and looking. The way that feels is better than any other console game, and if Call of Duty could bring that sort of feel, especially on console, to a battle royale game, that would be super successful. So all of those positives aside, there are some technical and design reasons why this might not and maybe should not happen for Call of Duty. Number one is system strain. Bigger maps and more players has to mean more system strain because there's more objects, more textures, more stuff in the RAM that needs to be loaded. And that would mean that Call of Duty Battle Royale would need to run a little bit uglier than normal Call of Duty. We couldn't have as high a resolution textures. We couldn't have as good of uh, special effects or particle effects. We couldn't have as dynamic of a lighting or a lot of different things that are going on would have to be scaled back slightly to accommodate. Number two is lag, and I think this is going to be by far the biggest one. We complain about lag a lot in 12 player games. Can you imagine 100 player lobbies? Can you imagine 100 player lobbies from people all over the world? Woof. Uh, the lag in Call of Duty I do not believe is quite as bad as people play it up to be. I think it's a symptom of the fact that the game just has super fast time to kills and you can die almost instantly when people start shooting you and they're not missing. So sprinkle a, just a little bit of lag into a really fast time to kill game and it's going to feel really really bad sometimes. And if you multiply that up to 100 player lobbies it's going to be super duper rough. I think that what could help and what you do see when it comes to COD Battle Royale in China is having more health or more armor or lengthening that time to kill would make it much much better especially for battle royale and you can see that with cod uh online you like pick up armor and you pick up health and you pick up a lot of things that mitigate damage so people take like 20 shots to kill sometimes but it works in the context of that mode but yeah it would be rough uh, they would definitely have to rework their back-end servers and do a lot of stuff to accommodate for battle royale number three is design focus and design goals almost a two-parter but when you split up developer focus between multiple things quality tends to get worse. Call of Duty already has a single player campaign, a multiplayer mode, a zombies mode, and an esports team. Well, at least most of the studios have an esports team to work on things. And occasionally, especially when it comes to Treyarch, there's a few other modes. And now we have headquarters with Sledgehammer and a lot of other things going on. And the more you split up your dev team, the less focus they have on each individual aspect, the worse each one of them will inevitably get. So adding a battle royale mode to this is going to split up focus more and be harder on everybody. Also, having a battle royale mode may not line up with Activision or Treyarch goals because a lot of the things they've been working on is esports. They've been working on their league, the Overwatch League, they ca caught on uh, CWL, Call of Duty World League, and I think that they even bought like an esports program and there's plans for TV and there's all sorts of huge overarching like esports goals at Activision and Battle Royale may just not line up with that, which brings me into point four, copying. Does Call of Duty want to be accused of copying other developers? Probably not. Or is there too much developer pride going on at the moment? And probably so. A lot of developers don't like to copy each other. A lot of them don't like to give up what they're doing. You can kind of look at uh, Epic Games and Fortnite with this one. Epic Games' original free-to-play attempt was Paragon, which was kind of like somewhere between Smite and League of Legends, except it wasn't very popular, and it didn't have 1% of the success that Battle Royale did, so they've scrapped half of the Paragon team and moved them over to the Fortnite VR team. So Paragon is probably going to go rip soon, and I'm sure that hurts a lot, but they, it happened because they copied a game somewhat unsuccessfully. And is it even the best thing to copy? Maybe Call of Duty should go its own way. Maybe Call of Duty should find its own place. A lot of people have criticized COD for copying various esports leagues, for pro players basically wanting to be playing Counter-Strike, 
for doing the same thing, for not doing the same thing, and if it adds Battle Royale, it's just kind of playing keeping up with the Joneses. Maybe Call of Duty should focus on its own house, get ready to do its own thing, and not pay as much attention to what the rest of the gaming world is doing, so that it has a unique feel and unique focus to it. And I do think that is a decent idea, but the final opinion for me is that I would love to see a Call of Duty Battle Royale mode. Or basically, I would like to see any Battle Royale game that runs as smoothly as Call of Duty on console. It would be so much more fun for me to play a uh, COD Battle Royale than it would be for a lot of other Battle Royale games. And maybe this can happen. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.